Hello YouTube, I've built the Boeing 737-800 aircraft from Hasegawa. The 1-200 scale airliner kits are nice because they're small, they don't take up a lot of space on the shelf. It's about as large as a 148 scale World War II aircraft. Plus I like the bright green accents on the Sola C plane. The decals came with the option to either paint the tail and the winglets or use the green decals they provided. I chose to paint them because it looks better and if I were to use the decals I would still be stuck figuring out how I was going to paint the green engines. The antennas were molded onto the fuselage so that was a challenge not to break them off. Eventually I did break a couple and just glued them back on later. Tammy a basic putty works pretty well for covering the seam lines and then I'll sand it off with varying grades of sandpaper starting at around 300 grit and ending at around 10,000. I primed the model with Tamiya Sky Gray and it revealed a few imperfections and missed seam lines that I could not see when the model was white. I'll sand these down some more and then wipe away the, all the extra dust with a damp paper towel. I am wrapping and gluing a piece of sandpaper around a toothpick. This will allow me to sand the seam line that's on the inside of the engine cowling. This was a very tough spot to reach and took quite a bit of patience. I'm using a Badger Sotar 2020 airbrush with a 0.2 millimeter nozzle to spray all clad burnt iron over aluminum on the engine exhaust. The front landing gear scissors were molded solid. I'll add a gap between them to improve the look and I start by drilling out a small pilot hole with my micro drill and then enlarging it with my hobby knife.
I used trial and error and mixed many different variations of green, searching for the right shade for the tail. In each trial, I wrote the ratio next to the sample, just so I wouldn't forget, on a piece of tape. I also added Tamiya Clear to the mix because I think it helps the paint stick better and not get pulled up when it gets masked over with tape. Plus, with the civilian airliners, I generally like to go for a glossy finish. I always mix more than I think I'll need and save it in a plastic jar so that that way I can do touch-up work later on in the build if I make a mistake. It's nearly impossible to mix the same exact color twice in separate batches. I used Microset to help position the larger decals. The smaller ones were able to glide across the glossy surface without any extra help. I used about 5 coats of Microsol on the largest decal for the windows to get the Solacete air name to sink into the recessed panel lines. Afterward, I sprayed another gloss coat before using the Tamiya panel line accent on the wings. 